Hey guys, Steve here with Silver Lining Homestead. Just uh, finishing up that garden bed I started last night. Um, as you can see behind me here, I got the one stacked up that I completed yesterday. And now I'm going to show you guys quick how to do one. I've already got this side tacked down, or screwed down I should say. And I'm screwing that other side. And then I'm going to put in this final board here on the other side. This will complete our frame and then I have my wire mesh that I showed you guys yesterday and I'm not going to hold it up now but uh, then I'm going to screw in there as well and I'm going to show you how to get that started and, um, and then I have some staining to do as well and I got my stain here and I'll be getting working on that shortly too so let me show you this <clears throat> so for this I like to use Two inch deck screws. Um, they're rated for outdoor use, which is nice, and they'll hold up the elements a lot longer. So, you want to space them out. Make sure it gets started. Don't go too crazy, too close. Get it in there. Make sure it's all lined up. Okay, so it doesn't twist. Or get off center here. But Get the second one put in, and I flip this over and do the same thing on the other side. And I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but <clears throat> excuse me, see where I have the legs? They're on the outsides. Do it how you want. If you want them on the inside, do it on the inside. I prefer them on the outside, so it's easier to put the wire mesh in, which will hold our. fabric so that we can put soil in. So as you can see, frame is nearly done. Now I'm going to take my final board here. And that's not screwed in not like I'd like. It's a little loose. I'll have to do some work on that after the video is complete. So now let's get this last board in, make sure it's lined up. I'm not doing anything too crazy here, I'm not putting levels on this. I could if I want to, you can <clears throat> if you want to, but again, this is going to be for outdoors and it's simply just a garden bed, so it's not that big of a deal to level it all out. Teach their own, right? Right. Okay, so got my screws. Come over here to this side. Put one in about an inch and a half from the top. Hold the board and drive it home. Make sure it stays level there. Make sure your tools are all charged up before all this gets started too. Nothing sucks worse about than getting working and your tool battery life runs out. I've had this battery charging all night, so it's good to go for today. Again, about an inch and a half up. Hold the board, drive it home. Okay, now we're going to do the other side, and we're going to get that wire mesh on. This one might be... This one might give us a little bit of issues, but we'll see how it goes. I might just tack this in briefly and fix it. There we go. Now what happened over here is this one loosened up for some reason on this side. I'm going to try and drive this one in a little further. And... Didn't do what I was hoping for. That's alright. Again, it's just a garden bed. It's not like I'm building shelving or a bed or something for my kids. Okay. Let's see how that stands up. Not too bad. Worked out quite nicely. 
some of these spots here where I've had an issue over here, I'm probably throwing some more glue or something just to kind of seal it off a bit better. Okay. All right, now for the screening. Okay. <clears throat> this can get a, a little annoying to start, but what you can do is make sure you change your drill bit out. Okay. The screws I use, just use a standard Phillips head drill bit. Mine is all chewed up from a lot of use. Um, make sure you have spares just in case you're having issues with yours. Get back up here. Get started on this. I'm only going to throw a few of these in. Um, this is pretty self explanatory type of work. Um, kind of monotonous, but make sure you have your piece of screen cut to the proper length that you're going to need. Make sure you get it in there first before you start tacking it in and driving everything home. Some of the tight fit, which is good. It's going to work out nicely. Make sure it's cut to the proper length. See, that was a little longer. I cut it a little long on purpose. Ouch. And it's going to be sharp, so you're going to get cut up do this. Just be careful. Okay. Alright. Got it where I want it. I'm going to start driving it home. I'm only going to put a few in here and show you all how to do it. And then that's it for this garden bed. Again, like I said, these are great for small projects. Like a spice garden, something like that. Something, you know, simple. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm counting out where how many hole spacings I'm going to have in between each screw. And I'm going with 12 here. Quite a bit. A good spacing so that way um, there's enough screw there that will hold all that weight that's going to be not only from the soil but eventually the vegetables as well and then the rain as well, the moisture. Um, these things got to be able to withstand all that weight. So sometimes, you know, more is probably the best in this situation. If you have it so it keeps popping off like that, it doesn't hurt to just drive a little screw on the other side. Just Hold it there while you're completing this. So, this is going to be kind of monotonous work, so pretty simple on from here. Simple from here on out. But once you do that, like I showed you yesterday, after you get your screen in, make sure you have your fabric. Push this out of the way. And eventually it'll look like this. Okay? Simple, straightforward, nice garden bed. It'll be good for whether it's vegetables or decorative flowers. So that's all for now. Hope you all enjoy the video and look forward to making some more later on. This is Steve with Silver Lining Homestead, out for now.